being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Chapter 17 Lokar's Demands Sixty-five magic, sixty mining, and sixty-one crafting. Getting to Lunar Isle has been my plan all along, but I decided to take a detour to build the costume room, which required 60 hunter, 49 construction, and numerous hours of hunting eclectic implings. All that's left for me to do now is to finish fulfilling Lokar's demands. Once that's done, I can join him on his voyage to the Island of the Moon. Because of my strange encounter last night with the Shaman Mask, I really didn't want to go back to the Corsair Cove. But if I wanted to get 60 mining, I'd need to get some more Digsite amulets so I could travel to Fossil Island. I chose this location to train because there's a great spot to power mine iron ore. And since I'm on Fossil Island, that means I can keep my eyes open for eclectic implings because with a few more oak planks, I can build an altar in my house to recharge my prayer points. With more oak planks, I could upgrade my tool stores and begin to build the medium tier stash units found throughout Gilnor. But to do all of that, we need to be able to go back and forth between Fossil Island with ease. So our first destination today will be the Corsair Cove Dungeon. Wow, 75 hit points already. Not too bad. There we go. Uh, I am really looking forward to getting a new money making method. I mean, these are nice and all, but still. Three hours later, and our luck has finally returned. Okay, I think 178k is good for me, but more importantly, we got three rubies, and this should hold us off for our grinds. All right, after this kill, I'm gonna head to Catherby before I get to training because all of my best ideas seem to come to me when I'm at Catherby. So, I'll see you there. So this whole time I forgot about the Karamja Achievement Diary. If I complete the easy tasks, I'll unlock the Karamja Gloves 1, which will be a little bit better than the leather gloves that I'm wearing now, and I'll be able to get better deals from the merchants around the island. Usually there's a pretty good reason why I haven't completed a certain goal. Like for example, we can't start the voyage to Lunar Isle because we don't have 60 mining or 61 crafting yet. That's a pretty good reason why I haven't been able to start the quest yet. But for the Karamja Gloves, there's really no reason. I've just been lazy. I know all of my viewers have been waiting for this for so long, so I'm overjoyed to announce that in this episode, I will be getting the Karamja Gloves 1. Wow, this Mithril pickaxe is gonna be so much better than the bronze one. Do you remember when I was trying to mine this gold ore with the bronze one? It absolutely sucked. Nice, I'm gonna put this straight into Slayer. Hopefully this gets us another level. 18, all right, we're making our way there. Making our way there. Okay, the dig site amulets are made. So now we're gonna finish these last few tasks for the Karamja gloves. First up, we're gonna need to do some fishing right off the dock. There we go, task complete. The only thing we need to do is mine some gold ore from the northern rocks and collect five seaweed. <laughs> Ooh, what? No way. Now, if we got some oak planks, then that would be too easy. Oh wow, there's an essence impling here. It's a shame that that fossil island dude isn't here. Oh, that's a medium clue, cool. All right, gold is completed. Next up is just the seaweed. Okay, 
Let's go find some. After hours of searching for seaweed, I came across this rather convenient spot right next to Jimmy Nua's general store. With that, all the tasks were complete. For completing the tasks, Miss Jackfruit rewarded me with the Karamja Gloves 1, which are slightly better than the leather gloves, but they also give us a discount on some of our favorite Karamja shops. And I got this handy dandy antique lamp for 1000 Slayer experience. Beautiful. And 20 Slayer. I know, I know, I keep procrastinating. I'm gonna go do this clue scroll and see if we can get anything. I snuck ashore to the wizard's tower to kill one of the wizards. Like Redbeard Frank always told me, a pirate must be willing to do anything for some treasure. All right, let's see here. Coordinates, Draenor Manor. Easy. What does that say? A bruise, a bruise, <laughs> a bruise blue snelm. Whatever that is. I might just hold off on this clue scroll until I figure out what the hell that means. Okay, I was gonna go to Fossil Island, but I forgot I had all these Chaos Runes in my inventory, so I gotta go use all these up. Oh, I didn't even realize that. We just got 65 magic. This means we only need 60 mining and 61 crafting. Can we get anything? Of course not. Okay, last kill, and nothing. Guess we're off to Fossil Island. Eventually, I found an impling that was carrying some oak planks. But of course, it was the one time I wasn't recording. We got four oak planks. Do you know what this means? 50,000 gold pieces to build my own personal chapel. Dear Lord of Light, thanks for watching over me all this time. And thank you for bringing me back to life when I got smited by that fire giant. And for saving me from those twisted gnome scientists. I pray that you grant me your protection from the dark waters. And I trust that your light will guide me ashore like a lighthouse, if there ever comes a time when I lose hope. The impling spawns dried up on Fossil Island. But luckily, I have a backup. The Karamja Jungle Mine. Forty-nine, let's go. Whoa, I found a clue geode. I've never seen these before. And it's an elite clue. Wow. The requirements are probably going to be a little steep, so it's a long shot, but there's only one way to find out if we can do it. I am the one who watches the giants. The giants, in turn, watch me. Even a pirate has heard of the Warriors Guild in Berthorpe. In order to have a shot at completing this elite clue, I'd need to travel deep into landlubber territory. Let's make this quick. Okay, we got the clue. Another coordinate clue. Hmm. Yeah, um, that's a little too far for me. It's a little too far. I am not about to 
hiking to the mountains for this. So it looks like we won't be able to do the elite clue, but at least we still have this medium clue to look forward to. I spotted this Brutu victim on my way back to training, so of course we're gonna get some free air blower experience. You know what, I'm actually gonna pick this up because I can store it in my house. And we just got back, there's another eclectic for some curry leaf. Uh, of course, uh, I keep seeing these dragon implings. I wanna catch them so bad. One day, little buddy, one day. No, I know I should be mining, but the implings are so much more fun. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go sneak up on it. Watch this. This, my friends, is why I follow my impulses. So I held off on doing this medium clue scroll simply because I don't want to have to get the blue snelm again, like that's just a waste of time. But for the medium clue steps, I need two oak planks per stash unit. So I'm gonna have to wait for each of these steps if it's a difficult item to get. To make the blue snelm, I'd need to venture into a dark, cursed place. Wish me luck. I found the other items as I passed through some shops on my way back to Shanty Pass. Let's just hope this next step doesn't take this long. For this next step, I would need a green hat, a pair of snakeskin boots, and an iron pickaxe. All seemingly easy items to get from the mainland. But it turns out there's only one way for me to get snake hide for the boots. From the hoop snakes in the tar swamp. After what felt like hours, killing the hoop snakes, I finally collected seven hides for the boots. With a needle and some thread, I was able to craft the boots, and I was finally able to move on to the next step of the clue. I quite fancy an onion. That's cool, man. I'm just gonna take the clue step. All right, what do we got? I'm just gonna store these here. Now I need to find a ship. For the next step, I sailed back to Port Ardoin, where I finally met the end of this clue's trail. Ahem, <clears throat> can I help you? Yeah, do you have a challenge for me? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. It's three. You didn't even read it. Sounds good. I think if I would have just continued training and dropped the clue scroll, I would probably have Lokar's requirements by now, so this casket better be worth it. Welcome to the Caribbean, life. Oh, the Addy Plate Body Heraldic, awesome. Wait a sec, yo, we got a full set of dragon hide right now. Look at that, look at those stats, plus 74 range. Now this is why they call me Ingus the Dragon Slayer. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to store this Admin Plate Body in my treasure chest, so it looks like I'm gonna have to get rid of it. I really wish it was better than the Rune Chain Body, but unfortunately, Rune Chain Body is still the best, so we're gonna have to get rid of it. Mm 
Might have to do the same thing with the green dehyde body, but at least for right now, we're gonna hold on to it because that would be so sick if there's a way for me to keep it. Before I could get back to working on Lokar's requirements, I sailed north to the lighthouse so I could add the Bandos page I got to one of Jossic's damaged books. Put the page in the book and it fits, we're good. With the Bandos page stored away and with my brand new green dehyde body on hand, I headed back to Verdant Valley on Fossil Island. It was time to finish Lokar's second requirement once and for all. I'm going as fast as I physically can right now, and I'm topping up at about 27k per hour. With every level, our XP rates should be going up. Hopefully this should only take a few hours. All right, I got this beginner casket here. If you didn't see earlier, I got another oak plank drop, so that means we can upgrade our tool stores. So all of that is in our house now. It's gonna make things so much more convenient. I honestly didn't have any idea how long it would take me to get these. If you guys and gals have made it this far in the video, let me know what you think of these new animations by slapping that like button or leaving a comment below. Oh, there's another one. I almost think I should have just been working on these requirements to begin with while I hunted because this is way more efficient. <laughs> what was I saying? There's another drop. I think, I think that was back to back actually. Cause yeah, cause we just, we just got one. Okay, back to the valley. Step two of Lokar's demands complete. Last up is 61 crafting, but in order to do that effectively, I need 20 free inventory spaces, which means I can only keep eight of these item slots. And this is exactly why I went for the Karamja Gloves one at the beginning of this grind. I'll be getting a discount on all of the items that I sell back to Jimmy Nua's shop in Taibo Wanai Village. 
Goodbye, Mithril Pickaxe. You served me well. I definitely want to keep the oak planks and the gold bars. I think I'm just going to sell these. The coal, um, I want to keep it. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to alk it because we have to use up the nature runes anyways. Okay. Got most of everything cleared out. Obviously, I'm gonna use up these oak planks, but the only thing we really need them for now are stash units. Now keep in mind, I'm not actually getting the items for these stash units. I'm just gonna use these to build the units so they're there. So if I get that step, then I don't have to wait until I get more oak planks, if that makes sense. All right, so let's just unnote these here. Hopefully they don't mind. Luckily for us, there are two stash units that I have not built yet, right on the shores of Catherby. How convenient. It's almost like I came here on purpose. There's the second one. Ooh, baby impling. And now we set sail for Port Phasmatis. By this, I mean I'm just gonna use my Acto file though. You know, I'm having trouble parting ways with this green dehyde body because I haven't even used it. I can't do it. I at least gotta test it out first because one of the items I have to give up for this crafting grind is the U short bow. So, I bet you already know where we're going. First kill of the trip and I got a long bone. Wow, we've been here for a while. Just got 71 range. Of course, now my inventory is full again, but I'm walking out with almost 300k. So, it's worth it. We just gotta get rid of this stuff. I think with the gems, I'm just gonna make some jewelry and then alk it, because I got this fancy tool store in the house now. So I made the jewelry with a quickness. After I emptied out the rest of my inventory, I finally got it down to eight spaces. It's nothing personal, you longbow. It's nothing personal. I hope we made it good. That's the last of it. Ta-da! 20 open spaces. Currently, I am nine crafting levels away from 61 and I'm going to get those levels by crafting bullseye lantern lenses. Lantern lenses give 55 crafting experience each, but this does not include the 20 experience you get for each molten glass that you smelt in the furnace, meaning I'll need to make 2,300 lantern lenses to get to 61. Once we finish this requirement, we can finally join Lokar's lunar voyage. Let's go. Nope, nothing special at 54, but next level we can cut our own dragon stones, which could be useful. Hmm, diamond necklaces might be interesting. And there's 57. We've been at this for a while. We're topping up at about 31k XP per hour, so it's going quick, but I'm afraid it's getting kind of late. I'm gonna turn in for the night. Ah, it is bright and early. Got a lot of rest, 
and back to crafting. We actually got a lot done yesterday because we have already hit 59. I must be doing this a little bit faster because I'm hitting 34k, it's not bad. Hello? Ma? Hmm, what's this? This looks like something the Fremnix might use, but good luck getting there. You must complete the trials if you wish to be respected by our people. something magical about it though. Wouldn't be surprised if this came from Lunar Isle. I might know someone who can take you. Nice to meet you. I'm Lokar. Lokar Sea I might be able to give you a hand. There it is, 61 crafting. This means I am going to Lunar Isle. I think it's about time we set sail.